Hello everybody, Sue Matthew 6 here, and today I'm going to be making a Let's Play of Pokemon Blue version. I downloaded an emulator and a ROM, and I really want to go back to my roots, and this is really the first video game that I have played. I don't think I actually remember beating it, but I had a lot of fun, and I just wanted to play it again because I missed the times that I had when I played this game. So. Uh, past the loading screen, Professor Oak, yada yada yada. What is my name? Hmm. I wonder what my name is. I think I think I'm gonna go with Matt this time. I think my name is Matt. And my rival, who's what's my rival's name? Uh Jack works. I'm, I'm not gonna name him Red or Gary or whatever, because that's just uh. Alright, first things first, get the potion from the uh, the computer. You always make sure you do that in the Pokemon games because it comes in handy a lot against uh, your rival. Also, change text speed to fast because I don't like to read anything. Talk to my mom. Hi, mom. Uh, okay, time to go into the wild grass. Oak. Alright, and now I'm following an old man back to his house to play with balls. Nice job, Nintendo. Alright, so now it is time to get my first Pokemon. And because this is blue version, you clearly take Squirtle. Like, you don't even think about this. You just take him. You just take him. Just don't even think about it. Just take Squirtle. Okay? Don't even think about it. Alright, I always name my Squirtle Shellshock. Because you want to know why? Fuck you. That's why. Um, and now... He's going to choose the Pokemon that has a type advantage over me, and that's going to be Bulbasaur, because he's a dick. Now he's going to want to battle. Ugh. I hate battling. I, ha I have the worst luck when I battle. It's just, it's not fair. It's not fair. So I'm going to go with the Tail Whip. Thankfully, he's Growl fails, so that's cool. And I guess we have the same speed, and I'm just going to Ram Tackle in there, because I have an advantage, and I'm just going to press this advantage. Eh, Growl, not going to do anything. So I'm just going to keep using Tackle, and hopefully he doesn't get, like, multiple crits in a row or whatever. And, yay, I get my first uh, victory as a Pokemon trainer in this game. Level 6, I don't get uh, Bubble or anything. I don't get it to, like, level 8 or something like that. And I have to make my Pokemon fight in order to level it up. So, there's that. Alright, Pidgey, let's go. Level 5. I don't, you don't see very many of those in Route 1. But uh, it's using Sand Attack now, and this is going to piss me off, because it's just going to keep using Sand Attack, and then its Gust is actually doing damage. And I can't seem to hit it. Oh, I get a hit off there, that's good. But I don't have any Pokeballs yet, so I can't catch it either. And I can't hit it for the life of me. Oh, there we go, there's a hit. And I'm at, like, minus 4, minus 5 evasion. Now, now I'm at minus 4 X. See, that minus five accuracy, I should say, and I still can't seem to get a hit on it, and it, it's just about to kill me. Oh, potion! There we go. I just need one more hit, and I kill it. That no, no. See this game, this game, this fucking game, and I still can't seem to kill it. Tackle, nope. And it's gonna gust. Oh my god. Too much gust. Too much gust. Uh, so I have to run. That was terrible. It was a waste of a potion, too. So I have to go back to my mom's place. And uh, heal up. So I need to heal up my Squirtle. And then make my way to Viridian. Because clearly I don't know how to play this game. So i got to talk to this fucker over here. Get a potion. Like, you can't buy these in Viridian City. This is going to piss me off later. You'll see. Maybe it's not in this episode, but it's definitely going to be the next one. I'm just going to do some grinding here. Nothing much. Kill a Rattata. Oh, hey, look, another Pidgey. I'm going to avenge Squirtle. Squirtle's going to avenge the other Pidgey that fucked me over earlier. See? No bullshit this time. Pidgey don't become bullshit until level 5. Because of the bullshit sand attack. And it's just like... Okay, I can't hit you, and I don't have a 100 accuracy move. I guess GG for me. So, yeah, like, I don't even catch a Pidgey in this run-through, I think. Because, um, 
because of that Pidgey. It just really irritates me, and I'm sad. So now I go to the Pokemart, and I have to go get the parcel from Professor Oak. Still don't have Pokeballs, and he doesn't give you any either. So, Leaf Pallet. I'm sorry, for the Viridian Pokemart. I'm just going to run through, fight off some more Pokemon. Level 7. I think I'm going to hit level 8 after this. Level 4 is pretty high level for Route 1. Nope. Definitely now. I'm going to hit level, level 8. I need Bubble. Come on. Yay, no missing. Okay, good. Bubble. It's always good to have a type advantage. Or a stab move, I should say. If you don't know what stab means, it means it's an acronym for same type attack bonus, and what it does is you get a 1.5 boost to the attack type if you're single type, and 1.25 if you're dual type. So Charizard would get a 1.25 bonus to any flying and fire type attacks. No, I, I'm pretty sure that in this game, normal types don't get the boost. Um, that doesn't happen to like Gen 4 or Gen 3 or something like that. I forget I forget which, but it's it's later on. And I got the parcel, here you go, Oak. Um, now I get my Pokedex, and I can record data in it. And of course, my rival comes in and uh, demands that he gets a Pokedex. And Oak's old, and he can't do anything anymore. So what he's going to do is give it to these two 10-year-old kids who he wants to explore the world in order to battle against random monsters that he encounters along the way. Yeah. This was a 90s thing. People didn't con concern themselves with the politics in the 90s. So that's the end of this episode. And uh, I hope you stay tuned for the next one.